In Linux, like in every other operating system, for a device to work, you need a specific driver for that device. The driver is um, specific to the operating system and the architecture, either 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. In the most Linux operating systems, the driver comes with the, um, the kernel and, of course, works out of the box. But uh, sometimes you may face problems with devices to work properly or may not work at all. So you need to do some troubleshooting by checking the information about the device driver, adding or removing the device driver. And that's what we're going to um, learn in this video. But before we do that, um, let's show, um, let's check the architecture uh, of the operating system. And to check the architecture, you need to issue the command um, uname. It will show you that you are running Linux, but uname, um, uname dash r or dash a will show you all the information about the system. So we are running Kali Linux, the uh, kernel version, and it's a Debian operating system and the kernel version right here, and also the architecture which is uh, x86-64. So, since we um, know how to check about the, uh, the operating system that we are running and the architecture, we will um, learn about how to insert, how to remove, and how to probe for um, device drivers in Linux. So, the first command that I'm going to show you is um, lsmod which lists all the device drivers or the modules um, uh, available. So we'll scroll back to the top. We can see that we have um, the module, we have the size of the module and used by. So for instance, we have the Bluetooth and the size of it, which is a Bluetooth device. If we will uh, check the information using the uh, mod info, which is a useful command to check information about a specific device, let's issue mod info. Uh, mod info. Mod info. Um, it sounds like it's not working. Let's go to, to sudo and then mod info because I need to be super user yeah, to issue this command. So let's do the Bluetooth, mod info about the Bluetooth. And here we go. The um, This is the full path, you know, and this is actually the driver that we're using right now with the extension of the co uh, extension and there are other information that's uh, related to the module and there is also the uh, the uh, uh, there is the uh, NS mod and RM mod so now we will talk about the how to insert a module uh, but first, we uh, we talked about how to 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 uh, to know the information because to insert a model, you need to know the full path of that device driver. So since we know that the uh, this is the full path, we can issue the insert um, nsmod nsmod and specify the um, the full path to um, to the driver, right? Okay, the kernel and then kernel and then net Bluetooth and of course Bluetooth.co. There we go. 
Now, uh, that command will insert a module. But before we insert this module, we have an error because the module is already inserted. So, uh, to remove a module, we need to issue our mod and then uh, the uh, module name, which is a Bluetooth in our case, right? So, now if we will do the ls mod, like we did last time, let's cl clear this window. Okay, let's do ls mod again. And if we'll scroll back to the top, we are not going to find the Bluetooth because the driver for that Bluetooth is gone. Okay, we can also um, see if the module still exists by issuing the um, ls by issuing the ls um, mod and the pipe it to less. So we could type um, forward slash down and followed by the blue tooth and see the pattern not found. So uh, the, the, the Bluetooth is gone. So let's do issue the quit. Um, then um, let's do the ENC uh, once again since we removed it. Now we can do the uh, NS mod to insert the modules and to know of course as I mentioned um, to know the uh, the information about a specific device what you need to do is just type the mod info followed by the module that you want and then we have the full path right here so NS mod followed by the path to the device driver, which is located here with the extension of Co, will insert that model back. So let's insert it back. Here we go. And if we we'll do ls mod, we will see that our Bluetooth has come back. We'll scroll to the top, and as you can see here, the Bluetooth device is working and the device is uh, device driver is inserted. Uh, we talked about um, how to remove a device driver with RM mod and ENS mod. So now let's uh, let's do this uh, automatically by issuing another command mod probe. You can use mother probe or mother probe r to remove um, uh, a device driver. Let's remove the uh, the Bluetooth our Bluetooth with RM mod followed by the uh, the module RM mod. I mean uh, mod probe actually. So let's do mod probe mod probe and insert the, um, the uh, device driver for the Bluetooth ls mod and then the Bluetooth is inserted again at the top right here yeah this is the, uh, the module so mod probe um, uh, does the same as insert uh, mod you can also um, install a driver by using the uh, the mod probe as we um, uh, as we uh, we demonstrate right now, and we can remove it by using the uh, mod probe dash r followed by the Bluetooth. And here we go. Mod probe dash r removes the. If we we'll do ls mod again, and the pipe it to less to check both if the Bluetooth still exists um, okay there is nothing so um, let's quit let's do ls mod and scroll back to the top and sure enough there is no Bluetooth so the um, the module is gone because we uninstalled the device driver for it using our mod you need to build um, some dependency first and to do that uh, there is a command 
called um, uh, called the mod probe followed by all mod probe two dashes all and we won't see this in the background verbose missing parameter C verbose mod all verbose right so this missing uh, parameter missing parameter H so uh, probably I'm doing something wrong so mod, mo, uh, mod probe okay uh, depth mod or depth let's do depth mod all and then verbose verbose okay could not open the actual root um, let's check the um, Okay, um, yes, uh, it should work like that. Mod, I said mod probe, depth mod, and then all verbose lists all the dependencies available, right? So we need another dash near the verbose there, right? So here we go, and We list all the dependencies available, so now we can go and use the RM, uh, the mod probe, and the mod probe dash R. There is also a useful command which I want to show you right now, which is mod probe followed by show. Okay, show and then um, depend. Depend followed by our Bluetooth device. There we go. And those are the dependencies that um, this module is um, depend on. Okay. So this is useful command to check also both the dependencies. And uh, I think that's that's uh, that's all. Uh, I want to show you also. Um, how to list the USB devices. LSUSB lists all the devices, all the USB devices that you have on the system. And also, uh, sometimes you may need the LSPCI to check about all the PCI cards that you are installed, uh, that are installed in your computer. Okay, so to wrap up things, that we learned in the in this video, we talked about um, device drivers. We talked about um, device drivers, and how to install them. How to install a device driver and we learned about the ls um, mod command ls mod will list um, all the the modules available the uh, ls the mod info mod info Followed by the name of the module, module name will um, give you the information about uh, the device. The ENS mod mod will insert a model. ENS is always followed by the um, module name, like. Um, we did with our Bluetooth, it will insert or install the module, the device driver for that module. Uh, we talked about RM mod, RM mod also followed by the uh, module name, it will remove that uh, device driver. 
and that's um, if you want to do that manually. We talk also about the mod probe, mod probe, followed by the um, module name. It will probe for that module and installs it. And mod probe, mod probe, dash r followed by the module name it will remove that driver so i hope that this has been informative for you and i would like to thank you